It, it is so, <laughs> I am honored to have you on the show as, uh, as my host. Thank uh, you. And my co-host. Uh, hey, man, you you are so busy, and, and where do you get the time to even give me the time of day to answer the phone call? I'll give you the time of day. Do you know, I have to say that you are one of the few people who when I see Larry Smith on my phone, I pick it up right away. You do. You my best friends, I don't do that with. They'll tell you. Mary Lou will tell you this. I mean, Mary Ann and, and Tony. But you, I pick up the phone all the time. And yes, I do. And then you say, what? After about like the first ten minutes of me talking, is it why the hell did I pick up the phone? I'm hungry now. I gotta hang up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but you are so busy. You, you you were out there at the Academy Awards. You were out there at the Golden Globes. You won. You you, you couldn't even do, come home with all the uh, the the the. Yeah, I know. They yeah. made me leave it behind in New York. Can you okay. imagine? What you know? What why? Uh, this is why I think so. It's because I lose things. No, I, actually, no. It's because my husband is a com inveterate cleaner. Okay, it's like I leave things on the countertop, and then I come home and go, where's that? Oh, I don't know. And then you find it in a box in storage. Okay. How the hell could so you lose a Golden Globe, though? Uh, well, trust me. Okay, uh, we right. lost the company checkbook because <laughs> okay. he packed it in a box and put my clothes on top of it, put it in storage, and it took a month to find it. So, okay. right. yeah. Now, you just w when I called you last week to be on the show... You uh, talked to me from Las Vegas. I did. What it, were you doing out there? I was out there celebrating my daughter's 21st birthday. We had a fabulous time. I told her, you bring three friends, I'll bring three friends. And they were friends, of course, of, of mine that had known D Carly from the time she'd grown up. And I said, no drama, which is, <laughs> anytime you're with women traveling, it's like herding cats anyway. So I, I said, no drama. And the girls, the young ones, were the best. Uh, the elders, mm. Not so much, okay. let me just say that. So, so, But you had a great time? We had a you fabulous time. We happened to be uh, during the Michael Jordan Invitational Golf Tournament. Staying at the Aria, which was one of the sponsors, may not have been one of the best choices I ever made in terms of booking a hotel. But it was very exciting for them. We went to see La Reve, uh, Cirque du Soleil's La Reve, which is fabulous. If, if you have not seen La Reve, please go see it. It's one of the most awesome shows as a theatrical producer that I have ever seen in my life. The lighting wow. was off the charts. It was, it was fabulous. Oh, well, <laughs> slightly, just slightly. Okay. Uh, only okay. how's that for a save? Yeah. You like that? We have red. Uh, we, we need more green. gobos. Okay. We have like some with no gels in uh, at all. I need gobos because th <laughs> these are like I can tell me that they're aging me as we speak. So I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, uh, we, as you know, because you've been a guest on the show now several times, uh, um, we always have a theme, yeah. and our theme tonight is communication or lack thereof. But uh, are, do you consider yourself to be a good communicator? Not always. I don't always consider myself to be one because I think that I think That's too fast. Honest. And I think that I'm on you know, point A and then I jump to D and think everyone should just be along there with me. Ah, one of those. And not everyone is. Now, there is the rare person in my life that follows that lead that I do. 
And then there are other people who go, what the hell is she talking about? So I, I'm, that is one of my journeys in life. Um, patience is one, and learning to communicate better is another. So this is very appropriate that I'm co-chairing this with you. Co-chairing. Co-chairing, co 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 yeah. 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 Well, co-chairing, how's well, that? All right, very good. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I'm a good communicator. It's the other people that I'm communicating with that, <laughs> that, that don't think I'm a good communicator. I think I take stuff too communicati co co communicative. I get down to the minutia. The, 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 like I, I want to know every little detail about stuff. And, and, but, th but communicating also means listening well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you consider yourself a good listener? I do, but then again, my, the other people that, I, that, that, think that I'm supposed to be listening to. Well, and, and selective hearing. See, I, I think I'm a selective hearer. It's like I hear what I want to hear. Okay. And sometimes it's good and sometimes it sucks. And then I go, I didn't hear that. No, 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 no. So. We, are, we have Dave Boodle as our guest tonight. Oh, he's and, awesome. And, and he's going to come up and do a song about communication right now. Uh, Dave, come on up here. Dave Boodle, ladies Yay, and Dave. gentlemen. Dave is not only. Come a, on a, up here, yeah. buddy. Come right up and sing the song right now, <laughs> That was Dave, an answer. Will you? you, 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 you want, uh, yeah. Can you play you for me? That? Are you playing? I am. Cool. Oh, I get to this sit next to you. Larry, you're too Whoa. short. Can I can I move this? Is that okay? I, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm taller than you. Only about two feet, but that's enough. A song about communication, and it's also... This is ML, by the way. Hello, everyone. This is the man communicating his status in the relationship. Communicating his status in the relationship to his loved one. I don't take no crap from anybody else but you. I wear the pants around here when I'm finished with your laundry. I'm the man who walked on flight. Oh, I forgot the words. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm the man of this house until you get home. Now, what I say goes around here right out the window. And I don't want to hear a lot of whining, so I'll shut up. And the sooner you learn who's boss around here, the sooner you can give me my orders, dear. I'm head honcho around here, but it's all my head. He's the man. He's the man. I love that part. <laughs> now, I can have sex any time that you want. Because I'm a man who has needs, but they're not that important. And don't expect any flowers from me, because if I'm not mistaken, you preserve jewelry. I'm the king of my castle when you're not around. He's the man. He's the man. Am I the man? You're the man. Woo! <laughs> now, here we go. I can drink and watch sports whenever I want to get in trouble. And I'm a girl's around as I forgot the words. <laughs> I'm a guy that you want to fight. When I saw junk, you say you're yeah, right. I'm the man of this house when you get him home. I'm the man. He's the man. Dave Boodle, that's ML. Come on over here, Good Dave. Good job, Dave. Aw. I'm not sure how I feel about that song, though. I don't know. I know. Uh, <laughs> if I wrote that song, I would never have forgotten the words, but I didn't write well, it. And I, I wonder, you know. Talking about, man. You know what, man? This is uh, very interesting that, that um, um, Ann O'Shea, is, of course, is a, a producer of films, of movies. Uh, she, she produced The Kids Are All Right, which is a, a multi-award winning film. A great film. I, I, I saw it. And, I was and very proud of it. Yeah, I, I, I found you on IMDb. And I found you on IMDb. I, I know I found you. I, I totally you. did. Yeah. Oh. And of course, Dave Boodle, uh, 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 in addition to being a, a fine musician, had a career as a stuntman in the movies. In yes, Australia. I saw I that. Yes. Could yes, you I speak did. to that a little bit? I can. Um, I jumped out of buildings and rolled cars and set myself on fire. Oh my and God, that's got so cool! A lot. Fire. And broke so many. Yeah, I did fire really? stunts as well. Yeah, oh we. I actually never did a fire stunt for a movie, but we used to practice and we used to um, uh, go and you know rent cars to 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 race around the track. And this we is would you and your old girlfriend. Yeah, and the, <laughs> oh, you knew that, didn't you? You are my ex girlfriend. <laughs> So I got we the used scars to, to prove it, baby. Exactly. <laughs> ML, I'm trying to look in your eyes, but I'm telling you, man, you're making it difficult. I'm sorry. I, I tried I, to make I, it shorter. I, I didn't know it's the dress. I I'm telling you. You selected the wear. She is an ex member of the B 52s. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> love Shack. And I love Shack. Um, and ML, what do you have to do with the movies? 
What do I have to do with movies? Yeah. I watch them a lot. There you go. And we <laughs> <laughs> love you for that. You do oh, yeah. a fine job. That, absolutely. Thank you. I think I built your garage. <laughs> oh, I, you know, well, okay, almost. Watch some more. Maybe a window. Okay. Maybe a window. Yes. <laughs> so now uh, you got out of stunt. Uh, 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 I got out of the stunt work when I was uh, very old for a stuntman. I think I was 28 when I actually retired. <laughs> oh, that and makes that's me feel pretty really old for a stuntman because when, when you start breaking all your bones and stuff and you get out of it, and if you want to stay in the business, what you do is you become a director or a, uh, a, s a stunt coordinator, which I never did. I, I went back to music and, and did that full time. So uh, out of curiosity, how many bones have you broken? <laughs> I probably can't count them all. Uh, almost, really? Almost every one. You know, <gasps> really? I, I oh my gosh, you're kidding. He's the wow. man. He is the man. We'll be back he with Ruben Navarro oh and uh, Dr. Coleman. Oh. He's the man. You're the man. He's the man. You're the man. No, you're the man. Because I'm the man. Larry, that's oh. you're, the you're the man. <laughs> you're I'm the <laughs> chick. How could you I'm be the, the man? Chick. <laughs> I know he has the guts to wear that. That uh, makes him the man. I'm I saying. Know, uh, Stop. You know what? Oh, it's you. Oh, honey. Seriously. It Darling, it's totally you. I swear it is. Ser let's you have a vote. Is it better on me <laughs> or better on All I can say is you need mascara, honey. Oh, Deb. Totally. Can I borrow yours? And some eyelashes. How does one I should know I did drag, so I should know that. How does yeah. one become a stuntman in the damn person? I was a gymnast. I, I was training for the Canadian Olympic team. And uh, what happened was that sort of... How did you get right to Canada? I, I was a Canadian. He walked? I don't oh, know. I'm a, I'm a Canuck. No, I'm he a got a kayak. He got a kayak got as an eight-year-old. And next thing you know, he was in Canada. <laughs> Here's on the wrong current. <laughs> uh, <laughs> row north, young man. Row north. He was going for Newfoundland. So there so you, he was. you were born and raised in Canada. I was. Yes, I was. And you, you, you. you I was a gymnast, a gymnast? As, a, as a young boy, and then I, I, I stuck with it and through high school. And um, the next thing you know, I was uh, training for the Canadian Olympic team, uh, which wow. I quit doing because I said I want to be a musician. That didn't work because it brought me right into stunt work, which I did. I moved to Australia. And that's where all the Why Australia? All Australia? I got offered a job in Australia as a director and performer in a stunt show, oh in a live gosh. stunt show. Yeah. And so Canada just yeah. didn't pay you. Blame Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Blame <laughs> Canada. <laughs> and that's <laughs> what I'm saying. We're not I totally blame Canada. And no, For no, not keeping you. What's no wrong with that? No disrespect to Canada whatsoever because I love it. It's a beautiful country, amazing country, geographically incredible. Uh, but not nothing really to offer me as a performer and, and a, a stuntman and a musician. So really not a lot. So I just started traveling. Do you do wow. any directing that requires stunt people? Um, well, I don't direct. I just produce, and not yet. Stunt at work kind of scares me because there's such huge liability attached to it. <laughs> it's like they can like fall off buildings and oh, where's that mat? Ah, oh, smash! <laughs> where's okay. it, where's his leg, by the we way? We need another. There's stunt a little man. thing called the crow <laughs> that happened when I was in Wilmington on the set for that. <laughs> Dad. Oh yeah, so uh, Big yeah, story. like the Spider-Man right. Broadway. To oh, well, yeah. OMG, <laughs> that too. Yeah, so, so yeah, d d I, I tend to <laughs> shy away from the stunt factor because it's kind of like just get up there, say your lines, and leave, and then. <laughs> yeah. right. 
Romantic yeah. no, comedies but are excellent. There you go. Hello. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm you are that. acting, though. Aren't, aren't you in a pr uh, production right now where you're, you're, you're acting and producing? Me? Yes. 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 Goats. I just, I just oh, wrapped me? it. Do tell. Do tell. Who, <laughs> me? <laughs> oh, um, me? It, it, yeah, that was my question. Uh, <laughs> no, it's called Goats. And I was playing a, a, a gossipy old biddy. Do you love that term? Gossipy old biddy. Which is what it says on my dressing room. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going... Gee, thanks. And then I see the the uh, the, the, sh the dailies and the, the stills. I'm like, God dang, I do look like a Gosby old Betty. <laughs> <laughs> When's the facelift? It's happening soon, I'm telling you. Because, you know, enough of the character roles. I'm telling you, I look like a Gosby old Betty. It really there just gets annoying after a while because those cameras don't miss a lick. I was going to call you that, but I didn't want to say anything before we came on the stage. And you know the, the lights and camera and everything, but I wasn't going to say gossipy old bitty, so I'm sorry. I, I think no. you just got yeah. fired. Oh, my from God. Your job. Thanks get out. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much, Dave. You're welcome. <laughs> I, know, I need a sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we need a yeah, sound. Like the bird has a sound. Yeah. Like, ah. I need one like Bill the Cat. <laughs> When I don't like something that's I'll protect, protect you. I'll protect you. Back up. Uh, <laughs> grab that palm from. We need How's that, that weapon. That'll be the answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. You know, to say something. We, we, we have another actor, uh, singer, uh, on the show tonight, Ruben Navarro. Uh, would you ask Ruben, Ruben, Ruben to come up and Ruben uh, Navarro, sing please come up here. Ruben, where are you? Love you, there, Ruben. Here he comes. He's the man. Oh, Did somebody already do that? Yeah. Ah! Oh, okay, well, somebody can take that mic off. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, ML's gonna enjoy having my butt in her head oh, the baby. whole rest of the performance. <laughs> what are you singing, Ruben? I'm singing a song called Renegade. It's about actually not being able to communicate. Sorta. Oh, mama, I'm in fear for my life from the long arm of the law. Lawman has put a name to my running and I'm so far from my home. Oh mama, I can hear you were crying, you're so scared and all alone. Hangman is coming down from the gallows and I don't have very long. The jig is up, the news is out, they finally found me. The renegade who had a name to cure for a bounty. Never more to go astray. This will be the end of day. I'm a wanted man. done today. Oh, I can't. oh my, do tell. That's not, no. Really? Are we going to say oh, that? Really? Well, was it a butt lift? Like, yeah. <laughs> no, but to, whatever it is, it, it worked. I'm telling you. To come, out, OMG. to come out and sing like that after the procedure, I'm going to well, tell you something. Done, really. Oh, I know what it was. I saw it on Facebook. Okay. Let's just say there was a camera up there, too. <laughs> okay. My goodness. This is exciting. This is his second time on camera today. <laughs> the medical a profession a today, man, I'm telling you. 
that on YouTube? <laughs> why, Larry? Why? <laughs> they took it out, it didn't they? It's on YouTube. So I don't we think go to YouTube. I don't think they took it out. Actually, you can go to the live. Get it YouTube. Right there, I don't know. That's that's yeah. not <laughs> it's a radio controlled colonoscopy camera. Oh it's the newest my. Thing. Uh, oh my! <laughs> oh Can I shake your hand just Larry. for just no. for going with the this? You're amazing. Sure you you I said you were producing. <laughs> I didn't know you were producing that stuff. Wouldn't that be no, good? Anne? Th yeah, the things I could say, and Don't I'm just think, stifling Anne, be, myself now that because would be a very good documentary. <laughs> you know, it would. Oh, life. it would be like what's that one they had about the Fantastic Voyage? Everybody's inside the body. <laughs> That's it. They're like little molecules and stuff. I mean, Ruben Navarro's colonoscopy, and we ride the little like vet cars around. Like, oh, look at this! Like a combination of ten thousand leagues under the sea. Oh my! The incredible shrinking. And then they'd be like, you know, no man's zone. What I'm curious about is actually nine. It's nine twenty right now. When did you have this procedure? At ten twenty in the morning. Unbelievable! The show must go on. Give it up for Ruben. You, you are such a thespian pro. True professional. I gotta say, a total pro. Okay, that's amazing. What about your acting experience? Well, I IMDb uh, you too, uh, by the SMU. way. Well, thank you. Did you IMDb me? I did, I've never IMDb. I myself. did. You have six things you need to coalesce no, them. You, you MDB, the MD MD <laughs> you today, son. Wow. Yes. Oh, well, I did. Let's see. I started at SMU. So I went to uh, Southern Methodist University in Dallas, trained with uh, some really, really great people. Kathy Bates was one of our. Uh, wow. Was one of really? our. Uh, yeah. Wow. We uh, uh, SMU has the uh, the cachet to be able to. Um, <laughs> To get some really good teachers, so we had Kathy Bates, uh, wow. we had Ann Ranking, we had lots of other people <gasps> coming to do master classes. But our um, our faculty is really fantastic as well. Uh, lots of classical training, uh, dance, everything is together in one tiny little area. No so wonder you're a triple threat. Constantly, constantly, without all depends what you mean by triple threat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so that's where that's where I started and uh, just started acting professionally. Even. Um, SMU does not allow their freshman or sophomore class to go out and work professionally, but as a renegade, <laughs> as a rabble rouser, I was like, well, you know, how am I going to pay for SMU? So I was going to say. Yeah, so I started working professionally and started traveling to New York back and forth in these um, really, you know, kind of, I wouldn't say schlocky to the producers that did those shows, but, you know, I was 17, 18 years old and, you know, doing these really fun theme parks and these, you know, for a kid, it was really fantastic. Oh my God, that'd be so great. Yeah, and then I started doing Shakespeare and working for the Dallas, uh, the Dallas Shakespeare Festival and the Theater Center and just traveling all around. Hold that thought because we wow. have to go to a break. Would you sing us out? We'll be back with Dr. Cohen. Hey, Dr. Coven, we will uh, bring you up uh, eventually on this one. And then you'll have to share the mic with, um, with Ruben. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll talk about some of your movies, and then we'll, we'll, we'll start talking about communication. And then we'll bring Dr. Coven up. And this whole uh, segment is uh, talking about communication. Okay. Would you mind if I got a word or two? No.
Welcome back. I'm here with Anne O'Shea, my co-host. Hello. From, uh, Las Vegas or wherever Las she is. Vegas. She's from the world. <laughs> She's a, and of course, Dave Boodle, ML, and Ruben Navarro. Yay. And Ruben. Hey, Ruben. Was just about to tell us about, uh, g give us one of oh, the movies bit, that bit you've been parts. in. Um, let's see. One of the best, I think, I was able to, uh, to be in a movie with Delta Burke. Oh, oh, really? Oh, my God. Do you remember Delta Burke? So I was jealous. just thinking about Delta Love Burke the other her. day. Love her. fabulous. And, um, <coughs> Kind of, it, it's still a good story. I was, it was just starting out, and I was a reporter or something in the back. In the back, they gave me one line. I was so excited because I was supposed to be an extra, and I thought, oh, I was a kid in college. I was like, yeah, I got a line. I got a line. So, um, pay Delta upgrade. Bur yeah, <laughs> Delta Burke is up on the stand, and you know, this is right before the the whole, um, you know, getting bigger thing. So she she's up on the on the the stand, and she's crying, and she's doing a really really great great acting job. And all of a sudden, the, a the director yells, cut! And she says, donut. Really? The guy comes up, brings oh her a little donut. She's eating on the stand. She's eating on the stand, puts it right back. The director goes oh right back. She goes I right want to get that bit. She starts crying. That's, so that's donut. my goal in my career, to get that bit. Mary Deasy, <laughs> donut. That's how I'm Mary Deasy, donut. 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 Mary Deasy. Yeah. Yeah. Five donuts. Five Mary donuts. Deasy, get up here for a second. Oh this is our God. stage manager, Mary Deasy. Stand up here. All right, Mary. But she's got fries. no donuts. Uh, Very yeah. easy. Grab that. Where are the donuts? I'm sorry, I got hungry because I didn't have time for dinner. <laughs> you ate the donuts. I ate them all. all right, get out. Is my brownie you. still well and good you know back what? there? I'm thinking we should get deep fried <laughs> Twinkies. Let's get something special. I'm waiting oh, for my Boston oh, cream. <laughs> we are not communicating, Mary. <laughs> easy, we're not. Deep fried Twinkies. Mary, would you introduce <laughs> Dr. Fred Coven? Absolutely. The southernmost shrink. The southernmost shrink. Dr. Fred Coven. Come on Fred, up, here, come Dr. on up. Hey, Dr. Fred. Thank you. Doc, as you know, our uh, our theme tonight is communication, I'm or the lack of thereof, or, or what? I, yeah. I love the lack of communication because that keeps me working. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Your point. And and I've got to say, first of all, Ruben, that was great that you had, you know talked about that colonoscopy. You might have saved hundreds of lives. <laughs> really. Really, because it's something that every guy's got to have done. Girl too, girl too, and girls too. Girls too. Everybody's got to do Didn't Katie it. Didn't Katie Kirk do have a colon. live one? Katie Kirk did a live one. She did one, live one on the, live exactly. on the Today because Show. That's right, Katie Kirk. Because her husband died of colon, uh, of, of, of colon cancer. Mm -hmm. Awareness is so very and important. And it's, it's such a simple procedure, and it's great that you did that. And it's so a great drug. It's right. no big deal. It's no big deal. Look, you know, go no ahead, big Ruben. deal. And it was very, very easy and kind of exciting. For you. Well, uh, Ruben, you're not supposed to like it. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll leave the exciting oh part Oh, my God. Alone. Ruben, you she can be the post TMI. Boy. TMI. TMI. But Did the doctor buy you dinner after? But, but uh, communication. <laughs> no, baby. Back, back to communication. <laughs> communication, as Anne said, is two parts. It's speaking and the ability to listen. And it's what keeps Shut me working. The, the, the <laughs> here we go. Here we go. I'm not working now. Come on, stop it. This is what, what causes so many relationships problems. The, the, the refusal to listen or the inability to listen and the inability to speak clearly and say what you need to say, either because you don't think you should say it or because you don't know how. And if people really would communicate, I'd be out of work and then I could go fishing. More. How do we become better communicators? You have to work on it. Well, there's actually a wonderful exercise called mirroring. And it's, I teach couples who, to do this when they have bad communication, which is you know, so common. And what it involves is saying what you need to say and then having your partner repeat it back and then having the speaker coach them. Yes, that's it, but you missed some part of it. And then you get to really feel heard because feeling heard is important. And then the listener then speaks their part. You don't say yes, but. It's you said X, Y, Z, and that's not quite right, and then you coach them through it, then you feel good about feeling heard, and then you speak your part, the listener, and this makes relationships work, and it's smooth. Does that but include throwing things as well? Like no, 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 no. No, 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 like no you, you can't you. do that. I can't throw no, things. No, I feel like throwing a pie at you <laughs> is okay, but you cannot throw, no physical violence, it doesn't well, it work. Be good because if I threw one at you and you're mirroring me, Back. No, that does right. not. That's not what we're talking about. No, yeah, that's okay. not good. That's no. a waste of a great pie, honey. Uh, right. Yes, say. exactly. Okay. Why is my mouth open? Now we know how her mind works. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. A woman no. needs a free meal now. Yeah. ML, do you uh, do you fancy yourself as a good communicator? Oh yeah. 
and, and tell us why. I don't know how to do that. Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> communication <laughs> right there. <laughs> 101. No, I'm just kidding. Absolutely. I talk about everything, and my friend over there could probably but do they understand testify you? to that. <laughs> yeah. Well, their head's underwater most of the time. That, that's all, that's that. all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. And yeah. your friend over there, look at him right now. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Get a shot of that. That's right. There is yes. no mirroring yeah, yeah, in no, our relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a see no evil, hear no evil look, okay? The friend, of course, I know is that a, look. That's Guy DeBoer, the, the owner, the, the brainchild, the, uh, the, the, the um, techno whiz. The techno whiz. Ooh, ooh. The brain. Oh, Honey, how do you feel? Yeah. 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 Broadcasting exactly. communication. Look at his head. <laughs> Oh, what? Jesus, it's growing. Quit Blown talking up. about it. The <laughs> driving force of the whole uh, operation here. You're looking for a what? raise, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what that <laughs> I've been looking for a raise now for about 10 years. So <laughs> 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 Me too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Larry. Let's leave that one alone. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Let's not communicate that tonight, I don't know we? if I should <laughs> say this about my parents, but uh, I love my parents, and my, my, I, I, my, my mom and dad love each other. I met your parents. Yes. Yeah, okay. they were just here. I, I don't think they're watching right now. But I should hope not for what you're going to say. Well, well, okay. Forget my parents. So <laughs> some people, uh, some people like like my parents, seem to talk to each other, and they don't listen to a word of each other. And they've been married for like sixty years. You can see, and couples. maybe that's why. <laughs> yeah, but but yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> You see couples in restaurants, <laughs> and they'll both be eating and not talking at all. And I think that's sad. I think communication is really the spice of life. And that communication and the contact that you create when you really listen and really communicate is hot. And that's all, that's important, being hot. So I think it's important, something to work at. You know what, though? I have noticed that sometimes when we go out for dinner, we both take a book, and we will read our book, and we're not like speaking, but uh, intermittently, Brian will read me a passage <laughs> and say, oh my gosh, you have to hear this. But then we'll go back to, or when we're traveling, we won't speak because we don't feel the need to feel the air. Because I think so many couples feel the need to fill the air with just nonsensical things, and they think that's communicating, that sometimes when you just be, and your dynamic of having been married for 60 years becomes that dynamic, and maybe that is what works for them, and that's why they've been married 60 years. This is insightful stuff here. Sticking up for your parents this in a big way. Yeah. Is, yes, yeah. See, mom and dad, see, I told you that that would come around. Um, I think I might have a problem in that I think that I might take the communication to the point of I want to communicate and want to talk and get my ideas to the, to the umpteenth minutia, and I think I annoy people sometimes. Uh, you don't annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm annoying the damn audience you don't annoy right me. now. That makes you a perfectionist. No, that gives them insight. Is that something I should work on at, 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 at trying to curtail that? To be, to be, there are master communicators and there are average communicators. And if you want to be a master communicator, you have to really pay attention. And I think that's very insightful because I think you're accurate. About me. About what you just said about what you do. You don't have to tell me that. <laughs> no, wait, we're, we're kissing up to you. You set yeah, yourself up. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't let it go. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Please the truth. Because we love you. We do. And we okay. love you. Yeah, we do. It's and we love you. And, you, and know? you're safe. You can and you, and you And you it's do that. not go outside this circle. You do that. Okay. You <laughs> what, what, is, what, what we say here at the upstairs of the hog's breath stays, stays at the, the hog's, breath. hog's breath. That's what we're Listen, saying. Larry, you just a safe you, you do that because you care. And that's what comes through. Well, so you. it's okay. I, you, well, then it's I genuine. Like that. Then that, that's I agree with that. I agree. Well, well, thank I, you, you better be paying for this session for that. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Uh, what about you, Ruben? Are you, do you? I think we're paying for this session. <laughs> That's what it is. Are, are you a good communicator? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. How's that, that come across? No, you know, it, it's a, a, the, the same thing as Larry. Now, Doc, sure. it's very difficult for me to get my point across because I think there's so many different things going on at the same time that um, I tell them all in the exact same sentence and uh, fill that sentence with 150,000 words all at one time. I think I got it across and I still haven't. Do you understand what I mean? Right? Huh? No? You but you communicate. You see what I mean? You communicate I mean? beautifully with music. Bye. I have no idea what That's you're saying. That's why I sing. You do. You sing That's it beautifully with music. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. 
Dr. Fred Coven and the crew. Thank you, Doctor. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm over here. Oh, oh hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. Yeah. I the, thought it was you playing the piano. Oh, the piano sound is so great. I thought that must be Larry. It's me. I, I'm going to tell oh you. Oh, my gosh, Larry, it's you. You, you. Hi. You are very forward. You you, 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 you kicked me off, and you're sit, sitting there next to Anne O'Shea taking over. This is my gig. I'm going to be taking the, over the, for you the, anyway. The Dave Boodle uh, variety yeah. show it's now. The Dave, Dave Boodle. Boodle. But, Larry, you're irreplaceable. You know that. Thank you, Anne. Thank yeah. you. Hey, Whatever. Um, you have another song about communication. I do. This is a song. Um, it is Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. I I'm saying this must be a 60s song. I'm not that old, so I don't know. I was born in the 80s. So was it? I'm just kidding. I was too. Me too. Uh, it's uh, If You Don't Know Me By Now. It's totally about communication. Thank you. It's blue in honor of the blue now butterfly you're ball. Oh, no. now you're flirting with her. I am flirting right in front of me. Yes. Oh, I feel so treasured. And, and blue. That's appropriate blue, right? If you don't. That we've been through You should understand them Like I understand you Now girl, I know the difference Between right and wrong I ain't gonna do nothing To break up my happy home Oh, don't get so excited If I come home a little late at night Cause we only act like children when we are new fast and fine If you don't know me by now You will never, never, never know me Ooh. We all got our own funny moves I got mine The woman you got yours too just trust in me like I trust in you. As long as we've been together, babe, it should be so easy to do. Now just I'm jealous. Something care to do. We might as well say goodbye. To her. What good is a love affair if we don't see eye to eye? I know. If you don't know. Yeah. 
Asian right now. Nice. Don't know me Dave Bloodle and the Bloodle notes. Dave Bloodle. The blue butterfly outfit. Yeah, the blue butterfly ball. Friday night to benefit right. the Botanical Society. I love that Come. place. It's fabulous. It's going to be awesome. Blue. That place is fantastic. Oh, I know. It's, it's so really magical. Amazing. It, it really, really is. is. And it's going to benefit match. the endangered blue butterflies <laughs> of Key West, which is one of the only places still left that they have them. So. Huh. Blue know that. butterfly. Well, I love that every all the food that's being served all is blue. blue stuff is so blue. Blue. I know. Blue, blue cheese, blue corn, cr- and blue, blue, blue corn tortillas, tortillas, everything. Oh, yes. Chicken, cordon, and I'm blue, hoping blue blueberry carousel cobbler. drinks. Love blueberry that. pie? Yes. Is that for the fight? Oh, yeah, blueberry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. 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 I throw things when I'm angry. Blue 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 <laughs> Are you singing? No, I'm not. That you should be. You I could be. be. Wow. Okay. You could come out and volunteer for a wonderful cause. So there you go. Because we'd be blue if you don't. Oh. oh. Hey. <laughs> well, this song is a little about a, a little different kind of communication. Um, uh, whenever I have a little bit of trouble, I, I turn to uh, a, a different kind of communication. It always seems to help me just a little bit. So um, that's what this song is about. Uh, It always usually helps. When I am down And oh, my soul so weary When troubles come And my heart burdened be Then I am still And await here in the silence until you come and sit a while with me you raise me up so i can stand on mountains you raise me up to walk on stormy seas i am strong when i am on your shoulder Music, by the way, that's what I meant, music. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulder. You raise me up to more than I can be. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to more than I can be. on your shoulders you raise me up to more than I can be you raise me up to more than I can be Ruben Navarro, ladies and gentlemen. Larry Smith, ladies and gentlemen, and Ann and Dave and ML. God, you made me cry. I thought that was just the procedure. (laughs) Now my makeup's going to run. Thanks so much. Sure. Did mine? Way way to go, Ruben. That was so beautiful. Ruben, uh, look down there and see what the hell we're supposed to do now. Are we supposed to bring up uh, TJ now? TJ's poetry, ladies and gentlemen. Where is TJ? TJ! Trinidad Joe, baby. Pass Look, let's Trinidad. do it. Yeah, you need to know what's going on. I don't know what the hey. hell's going on, TJ. I know, man. I'm going to clue you in. All right, what are you doing, son? I'm doing something on nonverbal communication. 25 more ways to leave your lover. The first two is for 
A guy and a gal named Pat, and a guy and a gal named Chris. Here we go. Get very fat, Pat. Refuse to kiss, Chris. Move to France, Lance. Tie him to a chair, Claire. Pretend to be sick, Nick. Stay in Paris, Janice. Tie her to the bed, Ted. Kiss, kiss his bro, Flo. Say you hate the food, dude. Date her mom, Tom. Ask his sister for a date, Kate. Flirt with her dad, Chad. Whoa. Don't ever call, Paul. Leave him in Spain, Jane. Even paint her pet, Seth. Get him ill, Jill. And give her the flu, Lou. Give his dog away, May. Leave her in the jam, Sam. Say that you're gay, Jay. Don't pay another bill, Phil. Hit him with a shoe, Sue. Become a slob, Bob. Hurt his middle leg, Peg. And last of all, just say goodbye, guy. Yeah. 25 more ways to leave a lover. Trinity and Gail, hey. we'll with Alex. Well done, my friend. Woo. Well done. How many people were wounded? How many people were wounded during the making of that song? Man, that, guy, that guy must have ripped off your song, man. <laughs> <laughs> or more way. Remove the middle more leg. Way. Injure the middle leg. Peg. Peg. Are you going to sing something else? That was my favorite one, by the way. when he scats. His eyes always close when he scats. It's very important. Yes. It's very awesome. I am communicating I with the spirit. I'm like That's feeling the vibe. Right. Yourself, Can you feel it? Like the vibe. The concentrating so the, the when jazz. scatting is important. I am communicating, son. Maybe the jazz yeah, guy. You know the spirits that you're communicating to. Yeah. Who are they? Uh, uh, Dizzy Gillespie. Question. Dizzy Gillespie. How about him? <laughs> hey, you know there what? You I, I'd like to make this announcement if I can. Uh, 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 Jenna, you know, has uh, accepted a position uh, of, of, of uh, at, at a, 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 a television station that is starting up, Channel 19. Fantastic. Rick Belize, and we want to wish her the best yes of success. Yes, we do. Congratulations, Jenna. Jenna. And we will miss her. We, we miss missed. you. We, 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 uh, we, we love you. We, love you, you are Jenna. welcome back anytime. Uh, what we're doing here on this show, we're going to be doing one more month of shows. I have some great guests coming up. I have uh, um, Linda Dale and uh, Simon Lindholm from Stockholm, Sweden. They have a dance hit in, st in the Scandinavian country. Right now, as we speak, they're going to be coming over. And then we also have from um, uh, um, Los Angeles um, a guy whose name I forgot right now. Jeez, I, uh, Dizzy Gillespie's talking to him again. Yeah. But anyway, James th Cameron. Th this guy's great, too. He's uh, channeling me, okay. Uh, I don't know what he forgot Then we're going to go on a brief hiatus. We're going to take a little bit of a, a, a break. Uh, so on May 4th, I'm going to invite right now 
everyone who's ever been associated with the Larry and Jenna show, with the Larry Smith Variety Show, to come. We're going to do a great party and go out in oh, style. Cool. And we're going to take Dang. a month or maybe six weeks off, and we're going to come back bigger and better than ever. Great. And that was so May 4th? Awesome. May 4th. Jenna, May 4th. please come and, 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 be, and Love be a you, Jenna. Co co-host with us. I'll and be in up. Ireland, so you have to co-host the gonna show. You're going to be in, in Ireland? I am going to be in Ireland. Can I go to Ireland with you? For my first you? anniversary. I think we should all go to Ireland. What do you say? Where are you going to Ireland? Oh, we're going to Donegal. We're going to Belfast, where I've never been. Brian, been Brian's been several times. I was always scared because I thought I'd get blown up or something. No, <laughs> <Belfast> um, <laughs> then we're going to go to Dublin and we're going to go a little bit to Wicklow um, to see one of the great film studios there in Ireland. And uh, just a 10 day. And you're taking us all with you. Wow, do I wish I could. I so wish I could. We can Ruben Skype can you. Fit in a, in a I can fit in the suitcase. You'd be amazed. May not I, not in my suitcase, you <laughs> can't, honey. <laughs> Actually, colonoscopy, he can do anything. May I share a brief it's anecdote? It's like magic. Oh, I need one that. May, may I share a brief as anecdote? Room up now. Uh, <laughs> in, in, I think, about 74, or there about uh, 74, in, in uh, 94, uh, whenever Ivan, uh, Hurricane Ivan, does anybody remember when that was? Christy and I evacuated. Andrew was 93. Does that help you? I don't yeah, know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we evacuated. I went to Danville, Pennsylvania to do a gig with my daughter. While we were there, um, uh, the, the Susquehanna River flow, uh, overflowed and it flooded the town Excuse with me. some of the gigs. But I also had scheduled to go to Ireland to meet with my friend Beth Mannion, who was studying Irish film and oh. literature in, 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 in Trinity College in Dublin. Oh okay. my gosh, that's awesome! So hook I me up. <laughs> I, I I I flew into um, um, Shannon, rented the record car, uh, rented the record car, rented <laughs> the, the, the rental car. car, and wrecked it, <laughs> uh, and and wrecked it like like the um, uh, Beth came and we went to um, um, Dingle to see the the, the what oh, they called yeah, yeah yeah exactly the the uh, Dingle Peninsula. Then we took the ferry to. The, the Aran Islands, Inishmore, 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 okay? Oh, you're so lucky. The North Atlantic Sea was so angry that we had to uh, shipwreck. Uh, we, 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 we had to um, go emergency stop on um, Inishmore. I spent three days shipwrecked on Inishmore. Oh, my I, I, I swear to God, God. I God. Who cares, Guy? <laughs> this is my show, Guy. We're, we're in the Look moment, Guy. Guy, we're in the moment. Okay. Guy, guy. This is, see, this is we're, a talk we're, we're show. Communicating. We're, see, we're we communicating. We're in the moment. We are communicating. This is not me, communication, me, me. Guy. It was about Castaway. He's doing this to us. Was there a, Jenna, Larry, see what I mean? Oh, my gosh. Really? Larry, was there a professor on board? Did you have a skipper? And no. Mary Ann and Ginger. And a trunk full of Get me out of this. Sing a song about communication. Yay, we went to Dave Iraq. Just sit right back with Larry and the basketball <laughs> in Ireland. Introduce, he's the man. Sit right back in here, take a little take for trip. I started on this trouble board aboard this tiny ship. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. We're taking a song about communication, right? This is the ultimate communication song. Because it says, it, the, the guy says it like it is. It's Joe Cocker. Yeah. 
Dave Boodle singing for you. Thank you, Dave. God, what does it feel like to have that kind of talent? That is just amazing. You made me cry too. It's Dang not yeah. talent. It was karaoke. And, and he's hot. Really? I was miming to a Joe Cocker scene. He's hot. A little uh, point of interest it worked. that they, y y people might not know. Do you know who wrote that song? Billy Preston. No. Bill I thought a Leon Beatles Russell wrote it. Of Beatles fame. Wrong, son. Of uh, Beatles fame, yes. Yeah. Billy Preston. Oh, Beatles. my God. Amazing. I didn't know that. Yes. Uh, well, you know it now. Hey, uh, <laughs> he communicated so that to you. And there you have it, my we friend. All know Billy now Brown. you do. We'd also like to uh, recognize uh, Chris Estes, our sound man, who's been with Thank us. Thank you, from Chris. Hi, Chris. Chris. Thank you, Chris. And Karen Leonard, our uh, our videographer, our, our camera person. Can, uh, can you turn that yes. camera out on yourself? Thank can you, you. yourself. Yeah, wow. can you just reverse yeah. that. Yeah. If you have That's cut the talent. screen, can I you turn it on yourself? You just put up a mirror <laughs> like that so you can see yourself. Anne O'Shea, thank you so very much. Thank for, you very for much. Thank you for asking tonight. me. Yes. It was been so Dave much Boodle, fun. Dave Boodle, thank you so very much. Thank you. You're Anne amazing. Thank you. It was very nice to meet you, Anne. Nice to meet you, too. Ruben Navarro, thank you so very much. You rock, Ruben. You're very welcome. And, of course, Dr. Coven. Doc, come on up here. Sit Baby. down up here. Uh, Come on, Doc. Uh, Dr. Coven, thank you very much. Where's Doc? Alex, would you uh, take us home? Alex O'Kenzik, oh. ladies and gentlemen, has been with Hi. us from the very beginning. He writes songs. Hey, Alex. Oh, it's ML as well. ML, thank you, my dear. Oh, thank, thank you, you, Dave. Thanks for coming up. I'm so glad to be here on your show. And your wig. Fabulous. Tell the folks about this. Right, this is a song from my musical, Southernmost Song. It's about a lady who lives under a bridge. In fact, she should be singing this and talks about communications problems with guys like Bill and Bob. To live under a bridge isn't easy. All kinds of people you don't know. Makes a girl feel sleazy with all the indigence below. There's Bill and Bob. They're always drinking. You hear them cussing aloud if you echo. Come on, sing everybody. Someday, someday I'll have, have a house. house. Someday I'll have a car. Someday I'll drink champagne. Sing caviar. Someday I'll have a house. Someday I'll have a car. Down the road is looking pretty far. No such thing as a facility. Yeah. No bathrooms for a mile. If you fall in when you got a pee, look out for the crocodile. Here we go. Someday I'll have a house. Someday I'll have a car. Someday I'll drink champagne. Eat caviar. Someday I'll have a house. Someday I'll have a car. Down the road is looking pretty far. It's no place to raise a family. To this I will attest. Cops come by. Regularly looking for someone to arrest. Here we go. Someday I'll have a house. Someday I'll have a car. Someday I'll drink champagne, eat caviar. Someday I'll have a house. Someday I'll have a car. Down the road is looking pretty far. Someday I'll have a house. Someday I'll have a car. Someday I'll drink champagne, I'm eating caviar. Someday I'll have a house. Someday I'll have a car. Down the road is looking pretty far. Down the road is looking pretty far. Down the road is looking pretty far. He's Larry, she's Annie, like a breeze out of Miami. He's Larry, she's Annie, like a breeze out of Miami. He is Larry, she is Thank you all. They both say hello. Thank you, guys. Florida, welcome to the show. Yeah. He is thin, he is wine, he's wit, he's fine. Yeah. Next week, Steffi. Thank you, Larry. Next
be grooving again. Will you be here next week, Em? I will be here next week, Larry. Hang with me, Em. Thank you very much. Pretty Bad Joe next week. Fred Coven. Lots more fun. Stick around. Thank you, everybody.